Now to a Fox News alert. You're looking alive at El Paso, Texas, where we're following reports of an active shooter situation. The police department there tweeting a few moments ago that, quote, the scene is still active and warning folks near the Cielo Vista Mall area to steer clear. We're going to continue watching this story as it develops. Leland, as you mentioned earlier, still precious few facts known. One fact that we're getting time. right now is we're watching a police officer and it looks like they are pulling out some of their larger weapons uh, from an unmarked car there at the back of this mall. KTSM, which is the local NBC affiliate, now reporting that 18 people were shot inside the Walmart, extent of their injuries unknown at the time. As we watch this, and you cover enough of these, you learn to read a little bit of the body language of the police. We don't see anybody running. We don't see weapons at the ready necessarily and up. Uh, we don't see more SWAT teams coming in, et cetera. You wonder at this time if police believe they have part of this contained or at least understand what happened and aren't calling in more units. It's unclear where the Walmart that the NBC station is talking about is in relation to the entrance to the mall that would appear as though we're looking at on our screen. But this situation is certainly changing now uh, in the border town of El Paso. This began unfolding at about noon central time. So, Jillian, you'd imagine yeah. families out shopping there on a Saturday afternoon, getting groceries in the summer, getting ready for a wonderful weekend. And this mall sits just about halfway between the Mexico-U.S. border in El Paso and the airport. Looking at the live photos of the parking lot outside of the Walmart and the Cielo Vista Mall area, it looks like a lot of cars parked there. Yeah. You know, middle of the day, a bright, sunny Saturday. You got to think that a lot of families headed to the mall to sure. take care of business, to get outside away from the heat, maybe to take their families there for an afternoon of some fun and shopping. This is certainly not what any of those folks uh, we're imagining for today, for this Saturday. Yeah, we, ha we have access to the El Paso police radio tapes. We have some producers listening to those, and we try to do that in these situations. Listen to them, try to glean what information we can, uh, and also sort of check to see what's happened on those tapes before we put them on air. But we're working on those as well. I don't know if we have control over this camera or can talk to the photographer, but sometimes if they could pan a little bit to the left, we don't have any control over this picture. But we saw a number of officers, some appeared to be in pretty casual clothes, shorts yeah. and t-shirts with bulletproof vests over them walking towards the back entrances of this mall. The NBC affiliate reporting just this, that there was 18 people shot. The extent of their injuries is unknown. And obviously, it's going to take a while to figure out how long uh, this could go on before we have more information. We bring back Ted Williams, former D.C. homicide detective and federal agent. Ted, clearly things have changed since uh, we last talked. I don't know if you can see a television, but what do you make of the posture of police? We don't see SWAT teams lining up. We don't see officers and groups running with weapons up and at the ready. It, it, there, the urgency seems to have been pulled back a little bit, although we don't know if this is the main scene. Well, I, I, I'm not actually able to view the scene, but I can tell you this. If you do not see that kind of activity, it could very well be more likely than not that the uh, shooter or shooters are down. Uh, I, I, I say that uh, not having as much information as I would like to have. But normally, uh, if, in fact, it was still a very active scene, you would find uh, the SWAT teams in place, and it appears as though law enforcement seem to be in a lax state in the, from what you've been able to see and glean. So, therefore, it's more likely than not that the law enforcement on that scene are now in control of that scene. And, uh, but, but the tragedy is, from what I've been told, the amount of people who are alleged to have been shot, that, that's clearly yeah. a tragedy. There. So, Ted, KTSM is reporting that the shooter, uh, they're confirming the shooter, shot at 18 people. What does that number t mean to you? What does it tell oh you? Oh, my God. It, it, it sounds like uh, it's been, and, and I'm left to speculate, but it sounds like it could very well have come from a 
semi-automatic weapon uh, because it, it's very difficult, even in a, a store like Walmart, uh, to shoot uh, that many people if that many people have been right, shot. Ted, we're up, we're up against the top of the hour. Now noon mountain time in El Paso, Texas, where we understand that at least according to our affiliates, 18 people have been shot inside a local Walmart there on a Sunday morning when you know so many people headed out with their families this morning uh, and with their loved ones to get ready for the weekend and to do their weekly shopping. We're going to continue to follow the news and the developments from New York.